Okay guys, once you have everything cut out, you will attach the back to the front at crotch. Pin it down just to make sure that it doesn't move. You can use a regular sewing machine like I do right here and just stitch it straight. You can go over it with zigzag after or you can use a serger. It doesn't really matter, it's a small seam. Then you take one of your strips, attach it right sides together to the front panel at the top. Pin it down to make sure that you have all the layers together and stitch across. As you can tell, I'm stretching the fabric a little bit, making sure that all the pieces are lined up and stretch the actual piece a little as well and the strip of the fabric. Not too much because it won't stay straight after, but just a little bit so the thread doesn't break. Once you have that, you will fold it over just like that to close, to hide the seam. And then you will stretch, uh, excuse me, <laughs> stitch over the trim. And you keep stretching the fabric a little as you sew. As you can tell, I'm also stretching it a little. This will prevent the thread from breaking. And then just trim off the edges and you will do the same thing to the back so you can use the same strip or a different strip and just attach the right sides together trim it fold it to hide the seam and just stitch over the trim don't forget to keep stretching the fabric a little bit as you sew. Once you have this, you will take two strips of fabric that um, you just used. Make sure there is enough space left for the strings for the back and the front and you will attach the right sides together again just like that stretching the fabric a little as you sew both the strip and the actual pieces you will do that on both sides make sure you have enough leftover strip for both the front and the back as those will be the strings that you will tie on your hips and you will do the same thing to the other side attaching the strip to the bikini stretching it as you sew and once you have that you will fold the trim again make sure to you hide the seam you might want to pin this down to make sure it stays in place. I don't do that anymore because I've done it so much. I can just hold it down, but it might help you to pin it down at first. And then just start stitching at the edge of the front panel, all the way to the back. Stretching the fabric as you sew. You see, I hold it on both sides and just stretch it a little. So you see that's the end of the back piece right there. And I will continue stitching over the trim, folding the edges together so they're not showing and stretching it as I sew all the way to the end. And don't worry if the strings seem too long you can always trim them once you try the bikini on it's always better to have longer strings than shorter <laughs> you can always trim them so just finish stitching sewing to the end i didn't do that because i've done it so many times i can tell that it's long enough um and you see it's nice and stretchy and you will then finish the string on the front side so again you fold the trim the raw edges to make sure that they're enclosed in the seam and just 
stitch all the way to the end while stretching the fabric a little that way the strings will be nice and stretchy and the thread won't break <laughs> Just like that. Trim all your threads and then repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now that we have our bikini bottom all finished, looking all good, it's time to sew the top. <laughs> Lay out your bikini top pieces and make sure you still have three strips of fabric left you will be looking at the right side of your triangle top so the wrong side is on the bottom the right side is on the top and you will attach the strip of fabric at the center front so where you marked your pattern um, center front that's where you will attach the first strip of fabric and you will stitch the little slanted part first leave the needle in the fabric pull up the presser foot and then just pivot the fabric put the presser foot down and finish stitching um, trim off the fabric because this will be at center front we will cover both edges later on in the video again fold the trim make sure that the seam is closed and just stitch over the trim and don't forget to stretch the fabric as you sew you might want to pin your fabric down and make sure that the seam stays enclosed in the trim that will make it easier for you until you do it a few times and then you won't have to pin it down <laughs> Trim all the excess fabric and then repeat the same process on the other triangle, attaching the strip to the center front, which will be at your cleavage. And then you'll end up with two triangles looking like this. Very nice. <laughs> now we're going to attach the strip of fabric to the side of the triangle. Again, you're putting the right sides together start sewing from the bottom so you see that little slanted part that's where we're going to fold the triangle top so we can pull a string through that so just align all the edges of the fabric and just make sure you get it all stitched together like this double stitch at the end and now we're going to close the trim again make sure the seam is enclosed i always stitch the trim on the right side it's just easier to do the edges like this so i go to the bottom of the triangle This little part at the end, the slanted part, might be a little tricky, but if you pin it down, you'll have no problems getting it all in. Once you finish that, again, trim the excess fabric and the extra thread, and just finish sewing the string of the bikini top. So again, fold the trim to make sure the edges are hidden and stitch over the trim with just like that, stretching it a bit. Make sure you have long enough strings so you can comfortably tie it around your neck and still have leftover string. Once you have that finished, you just trim it and attach it to the second triangle. Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure it's long enough. <laughs> it's always better to have a longer string than shorter, as I said before. And 
and you'll have a triangle that looks like this with the raw edge at the bottom. Now you repeat the same thing on the other triangle. Always make sure that your lining and your main fabric are lined up and make sure when you're putting on the trim that all the edges are lined up as well. Okay, and once you're finished and trim all the excess fabric, you will have two triangles looking like this with the raw edge at the bottom. Just make sure your stitching is good and straight. And make sure they're the same length because sometimes you stretch one side more than the other. So sometimes one is longer. So you see, you just trim that off. And now we're going to sew the bottom of the triangle where we're gonna pull the string through. So you fold it twice, do a little fold. See, it's going to look like that. So you fold a little bit and then you fold it again and now you're sewing on the wrong side of the fabric so this will be on the inside no one will see this folded edge make sure when you fold it and stitch it you leave enough space to pull a string through there um, if you do have a serger you don't have to double fold this edge you can just finish it with a serger so it's nice and clean and then fold it once to create the little pocket for the string in this video I'm showing you how to make the whole swimsuit with one machine so you double fold it just so you don't have that raw edge there it just looks nicer and again make sure you stretch the fabric a little bit when you're sewing it and then double stitch at the end so now you have your first triangle like this all finished don't worry if it's not straight once you put it on you won't see that <laughs> And now you take the second triangle, put it together with the finished one and just fold it based on that. You see, just so you have the same length, that way one triangle is not longer or shorter. And pin it down again, make sure you leave enough room for the string and just pin both sides so both sides are the same length. And again, don't worry if your stitching is not perfectly straight. Once you have the bikini top on, you won't notice it. Just make sure that you leave enough space to pull a string through it. And that you stretch the material as you sew. Again, double stitch the edges just to secure them. And you're almost done. Yay! <laughs> so now you just have to make the string that you will pull through these triangles. Nice and easy. You should have your last strip of fabric left. So you just fold it like this, make sure you are sewing on the right side and just so 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 you have a long enough string
Always stretching the fabric, making sure the edges are enclosed. I found that when I make the strips one and a half inches, it's the best width because I can fold both sides and it will make the string more firm. That way your thread won't uh, break when you're wearing it. So, almost done. Again, it's okay to make it a little bit longer so you can just trim it. And once you have the string long enough, you just trim it. And now it's time to pull it through the triangles. So you finish with the sewing at this point. For this part, you will need a loop turner hook, just like this. You can buy it in any sewing supply stores or you can order it on Amazon. I can put a link for you guys so you can find it easily. And you push it through the little space that you left at the bottom of the triangle attach your string like that and just pull it through it's super easy pull the string right through and now repeat that on the other triangle just make sure that you have the center front parts together that you don't put like the sides together because then the top will not look nice. Okay, so just pull the string through the second triangle just like that. And there you have it. All done. <laughs> you can scrunch up the top, it looks really nice, so you can make it more flat. It's up to you however you want to wear it that's the inside outside and you have the bottom if you have beads you can put beads at the end of the strings or you can just tie it to make it look more finished just like that okay guys have fun let me see your work <laughs>